everyone, welcome back to my Tarot Corner. And this is my third, uh, my third uh, uh, House of York uh, reading. And this time I'm going to concentrate on Charles and Camilla and the way they see Andrew and Sarah. And this time I am trying to be uh, variable and to try to uh, interest you as much as I can. So this time I'm not going to use tarot. I'm going to use uh, this Oracle uh, deck and this Lenormand deck. This Oracle deck is called the Sibylla Indovina and it is, uh, uh, this is how it looks like. And it is some kind of a gypsy fortune teller telling a method, but it is also, it, it is a, some kind of a, um, 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 in between a gypsy, this gypsy card and the Lenormand deck. And as much as I understand, it, it comes from Hungary. It is uh, the Hungarian gypsy uh, oracle. Uh, at anyway, uh, these cards uh, contain all sorts of uh, 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 information. So I'm going to start taking cards and let's see what's the story that we get around how Charles and Camilla feel towards Andrew and Sarah. And then I'm going to uh, use the Lenormand deck and try and figure out the uh, uh, actual uh, relationship uh, between each. So let's start with this one. So I'm just clearing now the deck from the energies. Okay, now I'm going to start the, que the question. So, how do Charles and Camilla feel towards Andrew and Sarah of York? How do Charles and Camilla... Wait, just one moment. A few of the cards went all over the room. So, how do Charles and Camilla feel towards Andrew and Sarah? How do Charles and Camilla feel towards Andrew and Sarah? How do Charles and Camilla feel towards Andrew and Sarah? Okay, so now I'm going to cut the cards. And I will start taking them out and see what we get. So the first card we get is pleasant, past time. So in the past... Uh, everything was pleasant before things started getting sour everything was pe uh, pleasant that's that was in the past our second card is love so there was love uh, uh, between the brothers and probably uh, love between Andrew and Sarah. Uh, I'm not sure that there was uh, much love between uh, Charles and Camilla towards Sarah, but uh, Charles definitely loved his brother. So love was a, a, apart from their relationship. Looks like we are still in the past. Let's see what else do we get. So the next card is important revelation. So there was an important revelation. Something happened. And this important revelation probably uh, is what was revealed about uh, Andrew's uh, relationship with Jeffrey Epstein, uh, the accusation for, uh, that Virginia... Uh, Roberts uh, has uh, uh, accused uh, uh, Andrew, so this important revelation probably did some change. Our next card is, uh, okay, loss of money. So we know that uh, because of everything, because of that revelation, uh, Prince Andrew had to stop working uh, as a working royal 
probably his revenue was is not as much as it was and we do know that he needs his mother the queen to help him pay for his uh, legal bills so there is a loss of money involved here as well next card is a dark haired woman so i don't know who the dark haired woman but there was this dark haired woman that was involved and to me it seems like elaine maxwell because she's the only dark haired woman that is involved here and uh, because as far as i remember virginia Giffre is fair um camilla is blonde and uh, um the uh, um, Sarah is uh, redheaded, so uh, and Ghislaine Maxwell is dark haired, so this is probably her. Our next card is a letter, so this letter could be the uh, papers that. Uh, were uh, sent for to Andrew uh, regarding his uh, uh, the um, uh, legal papers, and I understand that at first there was a problem to give it to him because he went away and was unreachable. But at at the at the last, he he did get the the papers. So this letter could be uh, these papers. Next card is lawyer. Okay, so lawyers are involved. So after the uh, uh, important revelation, loss of money, this redhead, uh, this darkhead woman that was involved, the letter that was delivered, which was probably the legal let, uh, uh, the legal papers. The lawyers were called, and a lawyer was uh, involved here too. And then the next card is flatterer. So who is the flatterer? It may be Andrew is the one who is trying to flatter uh, the rest of the family. So they won't shun him, so they won't uh, kick him out. Maybe he's trying with uh, all kind of uh, ways to smooth his way back uh, to the royal fold. And as far as I understand, Andrew uh, felt very confident that he will be able to go back uh, to work as a royal uh, but the uh, other people in the family didn't think so. So there was some flattery involved. Next card we get is success. So uh, there might be a success or there is a success because we know that the Metropolitan Police decided not to press charges against Adrook. So this is some kind of a success. So Charles and Camilla do see this as a success, and uh, maybe he will also succeed in his uh, in the uh, lawsuit that Virginia Roberts uh, 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 filed against him. I'm sorry, but I just can't uh, pronounce her last name now, her married last name. So I'm using her. Uh, former last name and we have here a lot of money so we know that legal fees are a lot costing a lot of money uh, so a lot so Andrew needs a lot of money Charles is probably not very happy about that and we do know that uh, he depends upon the Queen to uh, pay his legal bills and this is the money that comes here and the last card I'm going to uh, take out is sweet card. So I see that uh, in the end, it looks like uh, there will be something sweet. Uh, there will be some kind of uh, renewal of the relationship. I'm not sure whether or not they will allow him to be back as a, as a royal, but if the dark clouds 
of the uh, um, prosecution and the uh, dark clouds of being uh, uh, called uh, uh, a sexual offender are lifted, then something sweet will happen. So this is the last card I'm going to take. Um, just one moment. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. No, so one more. So what do we have in in the in the uh, the last? The last is weakness. So uh, there will be some kind of weakness. The question is, whose weakness will it be? Will it be Prince Andrew's weakness or will it be Prince Charles' weakness? But one of them will be, will be uh, weakened. And uh, I see it more as a, a, an emotional weakness and not so much as a, a physical weakness. Th this can also relate to uh, his... Uh, uh, Prince Charles seeing his brother as a weak man that cannot control his uh, desires, his uh, uh, wishes, or his uh, appetites. The underlying energy of this reading is trap. So uh, they do see that there is a trap here uh, that is set to get him, to get Andrew, and maybe this is not, uh, this, these allegations are not true, and this trap could be something that is connected to this dark-haired woman, because we know that Ghislaine Maxwell was caught, and she May, might have uh, 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 said uh, things about Andrew that uh, that made this tra that made this trap uh, feasible. But uh, they do see that there is a trap. That this whole debacle is might can be a trap. Okay. So they see that, and this is um, verifies for me one of Neil Sean's videos when he spoke about this uh, um, the the fact that uh, there is a lot of uh, uh, information in the media about the fact that the the, the alleged fact that the senior royals have. Had, had this kind of meeting where they decided to uh, uh, shun Andrew completely out of the family, and he said that it's not true. So maybe, just maybe, Prince Charles uh, sees that uh, Prince Andrew was caught in a trap, and maybe he... Uh, believes Prince Andrew that he's not really guilty. This could be. Okay, so let's see what the Lenormand uh, deck will tell us. And in this Lenormand deck, uh, I like it because uh, we have two ladies here and two gentlemen here. And I will take it as these are... Uh, Prince Charles and Camilla, and these are Andrew and Sarah. And I, I will try to put three cards in between uh, each and see what is um, the relationship between Charles and Andrew, the relationship between Camilla and Sarah, and then I will switch them and see what are the relationships uh, between the male, main, men and the women. So let's start with the men. So first I'm clearing the cards. Okay, the relationship between Charles and Andrew and the relationship between Camilla and Sarah their relationship between Charles and Andrew, 
the relationship between Camilla and Sarah, relationship between Charles and Andrew, relationship between Camilla and just one more and Sarah. Okay, so I'm just going to cut the cards. And we will start with Charles and Andrew. So first we have the letter, the surprise letter that comes from a remote place. Uh, it can bring good news from a friend, but it can also bring some stormy or sadness and this is the first card so i think that this is the same as the letter in the other deck and this is the uh, uh, formal uh, uh, legal papers that andrew got the next card is the coffin okay so when the coffin comes near the letter this is a badly aspected card, and this makes uh, the letter even more obvious that this is bad news. Now, the coffin is a card of illness, sickness, but also a card of losing money, uh, losing hope. This is not a very good card. So, uh, we can see that Charles sees the entire debacle with the, uh, uh, with the lawsuit as something that is not very, not, is not good uh, and not, uh, could cause even a physical illness, but it is bad news. And the last card between them is the skith. And the skith is, uh, it, it cuts everything. So this is a card that says when you look at it uh, in a relationship between two people, it is cutting the relationship. So the Lenormand says that Charles uh, does consider cutting his relationship with Andrew because of the legal papers, because of the secrets that he was holding because of the everything that came out in the media. Now, let's see what we see about Camilla and Sarah. And here we have the ship. The ship can be carrying gold, can be car bringing good fortune, uh, can even uh, signify uh, friends. Um, uh, because because uh, if you should should travel with a special friend, memories unfurl for years upon end. So it can be easy, uh, a, a good, either a good card or a bad card, but it depends on the card that will come will follow. So the next card I get is the crossroad. So there is this. A uh, road in the the fork in the road that uh, uh, made com makes Camilla uh, think about which way she needs to go. Is she going to support uh, Sarah? Is she going to, uh, against Sarah? Uh, what this card says is that the person needs to choose wisely and follow his dreams uh, with faith and precision. Uh, all will be clear once you've made your decision. But uh, so we have here a card of travel or a card that or a ship that brings um, either good news or bad news. But this sh this ship made uh, Camilla stand in, in front of a uh, dilemma and need to choose between two uh, roads. And let's see what the next card tells us. And the next card is the mountain. So the mountain is a card of Hardle. It is, uh, the mountain is a fierce foe. It is something that 
is an obstacle that it takes a lot of courage and a lot of strength to uh, to go over and this mountain is standing between Camilla and Sarah so it looks like Camilla had to choose but she chose uh, to shun Sarah because she put this mountain in between them okay so this is regarding Charles and Camilla to uh, Andrew and Sarah and now I will look at that it I'm just uh, turning these cards and now I've, I'm going to look at the relationship between I'm sorry exactly this uh, the other way around uh, Charles and Sarah Camilla and Andrew so let's see first I'm going to clear the cards Now I'm going to ask uh, the relationship between Charles and Sarah and Camilla and Andrew. The relationship between Charles and Sarah, the relationship between Camilla and Andrew. Relationship between Charles and Sarah, relationship between Camilla and Andrew. One more, Charles and Sarah. Camilla versus Andrew. Okay, so I'm going to cut the deck and let's see what we get. So the first card for Charles is key. So the key is a inspiration that unlocks the doors. So the key is also solution. Uh, it can uh, signify miracles, it can signify uh, uh, insights. Uh, so the key is like the final piece of a, tra of, of a puzzle. So uh, it looks like uh, in the relationship between Charles and Sarah, the, he, he found a key to understanding Sarah and what ticks her, but that doesn't tell us if it's a uh, positive or negative So let's see what else do we get and we get the lilies and the lilies are white with green leaves and They are bright and they also signify passion and When this cards uh, rest higher, it means good disposition when it rests lower, it's dubious to this position. Now here, it's not higher or lower. It is uh, in the uh, in the middle. But so uh, it does look like uh, if the key is a positive key, then this is a high disposition. Then this is uh, uh, some kind of a turn to the uh, positive. A, a opinion from of Charles to Sarah, and maybe her a, a actual standing near next standing uh, uh, with uh, Andrew uh, does uh, um, does does uh, give her some credit in Charles's eyes. And the last card are the flowers. The flowers is the bouquet, it's happiness. So this whole, uh, uh, <clears throat> this whole um, uh, spread seems like Charles seems to find a key to understanding Sarah and he regards her in a higher disposition than he did in the, in the past and there is some kind of happiness so there is some kind of pleasure so he does respect her that's how it looks to me in regard to charles and sarah now in regard to the relationship between uh, camilla and andrew so the first card i get is the heart a heart is a card of love but it doesn't always have to be 
a, a, a romantic love. It is also fulfillment, it is also joy, but it does look like a Camilla ha harbors love towards Andrew and she likes him and uh, she does love him or loved him in the past. And let's see what we have more. And the next card is the ring. Now, this is even solidifying the love because the ring, uh, when we're talking about romantic love, we're talking about an engagement ring. But uh, when this is not an engagement, but when the two of them come together, it even uh, solidifies the love even more. So we can see that she still loves Andrew. She still harbors feelings towards Andrew. Doesn't have to be romantic love. Could be uh, loving him as a person or as a, rel a relative. And the third card I have is the birds. Now the birds, are bringing messages. The birds are also birds of gossip. These messages can be good messages, bad messages. It seems to me that in this spread, Camilla sees the birds as the gossip that is tarnishing uh, Prince Andrew's name. Because she does love him, it looks to me that she still believes him, believes in him and she sees that as malice, as gossip that uh, is intended to, uh, to hurt him. So it is quite interesting to watch how uh, different the relationships are. Camilla doesn't like Sarah so too much, uh, but she does like Andrew. Charles is ready to sever, to completely cut his ties with his brother, but uh, he, uh, uh, he does like uh, Sarah, and he does give Sarah the benefit of the doubt. And this key could signify that he learned something about Sarah that made him uh, feel, feel uh, that she deserves uh, this, this high honor. So this is my reading about the relationship between Charles and Camilla and uh, Andrew and Sarah. I hope you liked it, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Uh, leave me a comment. I love your comments. And um, if you can, please share it as well. And uh, I just want to say that liking the videos is very important. It uh, helps the uh, uh, YouTube, uh, 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 whatever it is that makes YouTube recommend uh, videos. So it, the more likes I get, the more recommended the video is. So I, uh, please, I, I do uh, appreciate every uh, like you give me. So thank you, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.